If you're looking for the best minimalist keyboard that money can buy today, I think the Logitech MX Keys Mini checks every box. It is so close to the perfect keyboard that I really have no complaints about it, except for one. The biggest draw to this keyboard is the size. It's identical to its bigger MX Keys brother, minus the number pad. It's in the size difference though that really changed the experience for me. It effectively reduced how far my hand needed to reach from my mouse to my keyboard. And believe me, it is a lot more comfortable this way to be able to shave off a few inches between your hand and your keyboard. I always felt that the original MX Keys keyboard and just full size keyboards in general were too big for my taste. They took up too much space on my desk and I never really made use of this number pad. Uh, so I really did appreciate um, the smaller size of the mini, especially for the fact that it saved me a lot of desk space. Also on a side note, if you did wanna pack your MX Keys mini keyboard in a backpack, you can do that. It's a lot more convenient than using a bigger keyboard. I also appreciate the fact that Logitech stuck with the tried and true design of the original bigger brother, the MX Keys. I went with the graphite model for the mini version, which matches the neutral toned aesthetic that I have going on on my desk. The keyboard does give off an appearance that it's made of aluminum, but it's not. It's actually made of completely recycled plastics, but it doesn't really take away from the experience. It still feels sturdy and I do love the way that it looks. And you can also be happy knowing that you bought a product that is taking an eco-friendly approach to design. Now let's talk about the keys. If you look closely at them, they are spherically dished to match the shape of our fingers. The result is a very satisfying typing experience. The feedback you get from pressing each key feels very nice. And as you can hear from the typing test, the keys aren't too loud, so you can feel confident that you can use this keyboard in quiet settings as well. As for the function keys that we do get with the keyboard, there are a few standouts. We get a dedicated emoji key where it instantly pops up an emoji window to choose from and send emojis within seconds, which is pretty nice. If you look closely, there is an instant mic mute button right there which is actually pretty clever given the days that we're in with lots of video calling and working from home. It's very useful to instantly mute your mic depending on the kind of home you live in. The keys do also have a backlight for when you are working in darker settings. It will automatically adjust the brightness to adapt to lighting conditions or you can manually set them yourself with the keyboard. It also has built-in proximity sensors to turn this on automatically when your fingers are approaching the keys. And let's say that you're done typing and you just wanna step away from your keyboard for a couple of minutes, this keyboard will recognize that you're not there and it'll actually dim and turn off those backlights to save battery. So this is a pretty intelligent keyboard. And speaking of battery life, this is another bullet point of why this keyboard is so great. It's quoted to last up to 10 days on a single charge if you have backlight turned on or up to five months on a single charge with backlight turned off. In my experience, I mainly use this keyboard during the day. I don't really keep track of when my keyboard dies because it rarely does. I've owned this now for almost six months and I think I've charged it maybe once or twice and that's a mix of usage mostly in the day with light usage at night with minimal backlight turned on. And if you're lucky enough to own multiple devices, you'll be happy to know that you can pair up to three devices and switch between them by pressing device one, two, or three on the function key row. And just like every other feature with this keyboard, the multi-device switch does work as advertised. And speaking of advertisements, we're now in one and I wouldn't skip just yet because I think you'll find this very useful thanks to today's video sponsor, Setup. 
SetApp is a toolkit designed to solve any task you need to do on your Mac. In need of a place to mind map out all of your ideas for your next project, there is a tool for that. Or if you're like me and you wanna know how much time you spend on each app to improve productivity, there is a tool for that as well. Or let's say your actual MacBook is slowing you down, causing a sharp decline in your productivity, there is a tool to speed your MacBook up. Anything that could be a barrier to you staying productive during the most challenging times, I'd guarantee SetApp has a tool to solve your problem. And if you're not aware, International Productivity Day is on June 20th, and there's a day for everything these days, but SetApp is making a commitment to help you guys improve your productivity by offering you a special extended 14 day free trial for anybody who signs up between now and June 20th. So that's two full weeks where you can test out their platform and see if it really does improve your productivity as it has done for myself for the past year and a half now that I've been using Setup. So if you guys are interested in their platform, there'll be a link in the top of the description down below to check it out and sign up for their 14 day free trial. But anyways, thank you Setup for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so the one thing that I don't like about this keyboard doesn't necessarily have to do with the keyboard itself, but the way that Logitech decided to ship this keyboard. So out of the box, it does not come with a USB unifying receiver. You can only use this keyboard via Bluetooth. And depending on the kind of computer you have, this could be an unreliable solution because there are some computers that just have really bad Bluetooth connections. And for the price that we pay for this keyboard and the fact that USB unifying receivers are more reliable, they have stronger connections to like peripherals that you attach to your computer. I'm really shocked that they didn't include it here because the high price that I'm paying for this, I would have liked to have that feature with this keyboard. And to make matters even worse, let's say you owned an older Logitech keyboard, or let's say you actually had their previous MX Keys keyboard, and those did come with a unifying receiver. Those unifying receivers do not work with this Logitech keyboard. You have to buy their dedicated Bolt USB receiver, which is, I think, $20. Um, you know, it's a small complaint, but it's a complaint nonetheless. Okay, but outside of that one negative, this keyboard is fantastic. I love the smaller size, I love the color and design, and I love how it feels to type on it daily. I've owned this keyboard for about half a year now, and I have no plans on retiring it from my desk. It's gonna stay there for a very long time. It, it's just an awesome purchase, and a strong recommendation for me and for you guys to go pick it up. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're brand new to my channel, and comment down below what keyboard you are rocking on your desk right now. Pretty interested to kind of, you know, hear what accessories or accessories, I can never pronounce that right, <laughs> that you guys are using. Um, but anyways, catch you guys all in the next video. Peace.